Hi everyone, so let's have a look at this next one. So what's a short vid to this? So this is graphing it. So look, once again, it's got the wrong numbers on, so it should start with the next one. So the X one, now what I do is, I kind of go vertically to the curve. So that's going all the way up to the curve. And then I go across to y equals x. And then I go vertically to the curve. So that's x2. Then go across to y equals x. Then I go vertically to the curve and across to y equals x. So vertically to the curve for x3 and then across and then vertically we keep on just keep on repeating all the time. So vertically to the curve across to y equals x. So vertically just keep on repeating that bit there. And if you can see look it's kind of it's created a cobweb type of shape. If you imagine it just kind of going like that around, just like a spider would do. And that's converged into one of the roots. So, so we've got converged. If it's divergent, it just goes the other way. It just kind of spirals out of control and off it goes. So that's a cobweb diagram. <clears throat> Correctly labelled. Starting next one. I think we decided that out by now, wouldn't you? Uh, and then this one is a staircase. So it might give you a cobweb, might give you a staircase. So start off at x1, x1 there. So up to the curve. Can't spell curve. Across to y equals x. Up to the curve. Across to y equals x. So up to the curve at x2. Across to y equals x. We keep on repeating that. So x3, x4, and you can keep on doing it, x5, x6, x7, x8, x9, until it hits the point where the arm fits the same. So that's it, that's exactly what we've been doing. So it says here, x1 is 1, right, so if x1 is 1, so following what I said, so I go up to the curve, across, you can, you've got a straight line, you can do it, across to y equals x. Then kind of vertically to the curve, so that's x1, that's x2, then across to the line, then to the curve, x3, then across to the line. And you can see what's happening to it. It's kind of converging into the root. There. So this is converged into the root. Let's try this one. So this is starting at 0.5. And we're we'll running out of time here. So I'm going to go up to the curve. That's x1. Cross to the line. Oops. X2. And you can see with this one. Oh, it's gone. It's disappeared off the thing. So it's gone all bonkers, this one. So this one converged. This one diverges. Because the next one would be all the way over here somewhere. And then the next one's down there, somewhere there. So there's another example there, but I've run out of time because the class waiting to come in to do some uh, Oxbridgey stuff. So I'm going to I'm going to bog off now. But I'll re I'll finish off recording the lessons later. I'll see you later. Bye bye.